Listen, I got two $50 budget decks for old Rodolfo here. Let's talk about Rodolph Duskbringer. I mean, look at this beautiful man. He's a vampire, he's an angel. Looks like the vampires from Twilight. Ooh, look at me, I have super strength and I never have to go to the gym. What a fantasy. What's up with the names? You can call him Rudolph? You gotta go Rodolph? Whatever, man, I wanna see Rudolph Giuliani. That dude looks like an actual vampire. Might as well be a vampire. That's the next secret lair, brother. Anyways, make sure you gently depress the like and subscribe buttons because you want to leave it in good shape for the next guy. It's like don't press all over the place, okay? Just kind of push it in. You don't have to go nuts with it, you filthy animal. And we got a nice Rodolfo Descabringer. He's five and a black for a legendary creature, Vampire Angel. It's 4-4 with flying, death touch, and lifelink. Whenever you gain life, Rodolph Duskbringer gains indestructible until end of turn. At the beginning of your end step, you may pay one and a hybrid white and black. When you do, return target creature with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. This is a really cool design. I like it a lot. My current life gain commander is Oloro. He's just a big dumb idiot who sits literally in the command zone gaining life. At least this guy has to be on the battlefield. So you want to be gaining life, you want creatures in your graveyard. It's better if you can gain lots of life because you don't want to only get back little tiny guys. I looked at the EDH rec page for Rodolph and all I saw was big expensive cards like Sarah Ascended, Archangel of Thune, and Shadow Spear. These dang cards are $20 or more, that's crazy. How about some budget decks for the rest of us not bathing in liquid gold all the time? Alright, I noticed old Rodolph here was a vampire. There's lots of synergies with vampires with lifelink and sacrificing creatures. I conceptualized the little vampire tribal lists using cards like Patriarch Spitting and Haunting Voyage to get lots of creatures onto the field and then sacrifice them, get them back with mass reanimation effects and old Rodolph. That's pretty cool. Deck functions fine for a $50 budget deck. When I build these decks, I want a threatening winning board state on turn 6 through 8, and that deck does that. I also conceptualized the Life Gain Reanimator $50 deck. That deck uses Life Gain creatures to bring stuff back from the yard to threaten the board, and smaller utility creatures to sacrifice themselves and bring stuff back, like Basil Thrall and Cathar Commando. So I'm going to link those deck lists and provide you kind folks with some budget cards from either deck that you can use in your decks that you won't find on the EDH Rec page. Like Basil Thrall. Black Black for a creature. It's a Thrall. It's a 1 2. Tap and sacrifice Basil Throw at Black Black. What is going on with this dude? He's just doing a TikTok dance. He got all discombobulated. The cool thing about Basil Thrall, despite it being a 28 year old card, is that it's still 20 cents. Additionally, and somewhat inexplicably, there are four arts for this guy, so you can just go with the Phil Foglio version if you're feeling peckish. Cathar Commando is one in a white for a creature, a human soldier, to 3 1 with flash. Has one, sacrifice it, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Sacrifice it, bring it back at the end step with old Rodolfo over there, and you're in business. And you got the old Bishop of Binding. Three and a white for a creature, Vampire Cleric, it's a 1 1. When it enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until Binding of Bishop leaves the battlefield. Whenever Binding of Bishop attacks, target Vampire gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the power of the exiled card. This is a cool finisher. Exile your buddy's big fatty and grow Rodolfo for maximum lulls. Remember, if you exile a creature with an ETB and they kill the Bishop, they get it back and get the repeat ETB, so don't do that unless you can finish the fight. How about the old Blood Tracker? Three and a black for a creature, Vampire Wizard, it's a 2-2 two -two with flying. Has black, pay two life, put a plus one, plus one counter on Blood Tracker. When it leaves the battlefield, draw a card for each plus one, plus one counter on it. And it says, flee all you like, the further you run, the more firmly I feel your heartbeat. Who writes this flavor text? It's an interesting card. If you're running sack outlets, just sack this guy when it gets big. Draw some cards, brother. Bring it back with Rodolfo Pepperoni. You got Marauding Blight Priest, Cliffhaven Vampire, these are very similar cards. If you're including several small instances of life gain or life drain or many lifelink creatures, these will trigger for each instance. Also triggers off of Extort and anytime you gain life. Durana's Emissary, one white and a black for a creature, Vampire Cleric Ally, it's 2-2 two -two with flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Speaking of which, this will trigger and make sure Rudolph Valenti can swing in with impunity because now he's indestructible, brother. Oh my god, look at this creep. Creeping Bloodsucker is one in a black for a creature vampire, it's a 1-2. At the beginning of your upkeep, Creeping Bloodsucker deals one damage to each opponent, you gain life equal to the damage dealt this way. What a creep. This guy really looks like Rudolph Giuliani. 
Null Priest of Oblivion. Huge fan of this card. One in a black for a creature, vampire, cleric, it's a 2 1. Has kicker for 3 in a black. Menace, lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. I love it. It's great early game, it's great late game. Lots of synergy here with the lifelink and the ability to get a fatty out of the yard. Enrica Domnati, yeah. Two black, black for a legendary creature, vampire, it's a 1 3 with flying. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose one that hasn't been chosen. Each player sacrifices a creature, you draw a card and lose one life, or you transform Henrika Domnathi. She transforms into Henrika, Infernal Seer. Uh, it's a creature vampire, it's a 3-4 with flying, death touch, and lifelink. Has one black black. Each creature you control with flying, death touch, and or lifelink gets plus one plus oh until end of turn. This card is under a buck. Backside is pretty diesel. It replaces itself, it has an ed edict effect for four mana. Late game this thing can pump your board for the win, though that pump effect is pretty expensive. And you got Vito, Spaghetti Master, two in a black for a legendary creature, vampire cleric, it's a 1-3. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Three black black. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. This guy goes in vampire decks. He goes in life gain decks and spaghetti theme decks. He's a making the pasta. He's a boiling up of the water. You got the all seed of life's bounty, brother. One white mana for an enchantment creature. He's a nymph. It's a 1-1. One, one. Has lifelink. And has one sacrifice all seed of life's bounty. Target creature or enchantment you control against protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. You gotta protect your commander from those pesky swords and paths. Get him back at the end of turn. That's pretty good. A Chroma Vision of Ixidor. Five white white for a legendary creature. Angel to 6-6 six, six with flying first strike vigilance and trample. At the beginning of each combat, until the end of turn, each other creature you control gets plus one, plus one if it has flying, plus one, plus one if it has first strike, and so on for double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, protection, reach, trample, vigilance, and partner. Also has partner. What a bomb. This gives Rodolph plus three, plus three, which is great for stacking life gain. Breathless Knight, one white and a black for a creature. Spirit Knight, it's a 2 2 with flying and lifelink. Whenever Breathless Knight or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, if that creature entered from a graveyard or you cast it from a graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Listen, is this guy going to set the CEDH world on fire? No, but it's solid in a deck like this. Cliffside Rescuer, one and a white for a creature core soldier, it's a 2 2 with vigilance. Tap, sacrifice it, target permanent you control gains protection from each of your opponents until end of turn. It can't be blocked, targeted, dealt damage, enchanted, or equipped by anything controlled by those players. This idiot is out there with the GoPro hiking on the mountain, get some good footage for his TikTok, doing some parkour. Listen, you ain't a goat, you're a core, but I appreciate you protecting my buddy Rodolfo. So much so that he can bring you back at the end of turn, brother. Alright, this is a cool card. Eradicator Valkyrie. Two black black for a creature. Angel Berserker. It's a 4-3. Flying. Lifelink. Hexproof from Planeswalkers. Has boast for one and a black. Sacrifice a creature. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or Planeswalker. This is a cool card. It's got flying and lifelink. I know for a fact this angel listens to the cure at Goth Knight at the Fuse Box, brother. Alright, you want some hipster credibility with your buddies? Play the Lone Rider. One and a white for a creature. Human Knight, it's a 1-1 one, one with first strike and lifelink. At the beginning of the end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, transform Lone Rider. It transforms an it that rides as one. It's a creature at Eldrazi Horror. It's a 4-4 four, four with first strike, trample, and lifelink. This guy just casually merges with his horse like Ludwig the Accursed from Bloodborne. What the heck, dude? Leave that horse alone. All right, last but not least, we have a very fashion forward card with Valkyrie Harbinger. It's four white white for a creature, angel cleric, it's a four five with flying and lifelink. At the beginning of each end step, if you gain four more life this turn, create a four four white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. There you go, buddy. It's a budget friendly life gain angel maker that's pretty good. If Rodolph attacked already, that's eight power on two flying bodies for six mana, come on. Brother, have you ever seen Archfiend's Vessel? It's one black mana for a creature. Human Cleric, it's a 1-1 one, one with lifelink. When Archfiend's Vessel enters the battlefield, if it entered from your graveyard or you cast it from your graveyard, exile it. If you do create a 5-5 five, five black demon creature token with flying. Okay, pretty cool card. This is an early blocker. He has lifelink. He dies, whatever. We bring him back with Rodolfo. His ETB triggers and we get a big flyer to block the incoming crackback, brother. Selfless Spirit is under two bucks right now. One and a white for a creature's spirit cleric. It's a 2-1 with flying. Sacrifice it. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. This is a flying blocker that can protect your board of big flyers. Great budget card due to reprints. 
And there you go, my friends. There are a bunch of cards that you may never have seen before that you can slot into your budget decks. Check out my deck lists and use them as a jumping off point to build your own deck. Rodolph is a really interesting card. I can see a reanimator theme with this guy. The balance is between life linking flyers that can get in for damage and creatures you can target in to get into the yard. Remember, you don't have to use Rodolfo's ability. But it is a pretty sweet one. This is card advantage for sure. I found in playtesting that you want to top your curve at 5 or 6 because you kind of always want that 2 mana left over. If you're casting big threats, you'll run out of mana quick. Or Zelf colors aren't particularly great at ramping. Listen, remember, I love you all. God bless you. Sneaky G from Better Commander, signing off.